Hello YouTube, this is Michelle Hill 94 and I'm talking to you again for my kitchen today. I just wanted to talk to you guys really mainly about some natural ways that you can do to help protect yourself and your family from low level radiation and from pollution and just free radicals and some of the things that we had to deal with even before Fukushima but now with Fukushima it's more of a concern than it ever was before. Um, let me talk about first of all Epsom salts okay a lot of the sites that I've been going, going over online they all name Epsom salts baths and baking soda as well as taking baking soda internally and I'm going to read to you from my source um, taking sodium bicarbonate baking soda diminishes the severity of damage to your kidneys from uranium radioactive contamination the baking soda binds with uranium and flushes it from your body and the baking soda also makes your body more pH and less acidic during this time which means that you're less your body is less set up for cancer when you're less acidic and this is according to a doctor Circus who says that there is no better therapy for radiation sickness than intense sodium bicarbonate and magnesium baths which is Epsom salts with the appropriate clay which is bendonite, bendonite clay or natural earth clay added in and it, what it does it helps pull the heavy metals and all the toxins and things from your body okay and the next thing that I wanted to talk about everybody's heard about potassium iodine but in America Americans are already depleted of iodine from our diet because the soil is so poor from just being overworked so kind of what you want to do is you want to increase the natural iodine content in your diet you want to eat things like seaweed kelp spirulina uh, chlorella real dark green leafy vegetables that have a lot of chlorophyll in them your dark vegetables um, you can get something like this iodized sea salt and uh, start using that instead of your regular table salt it's a lot better for you anyway and also some supplements that are really helpful is of course cranberry because that helps your kidneys it helps flush things from your body it's got a lot of vitamin C in it it helps fight free radicals anyway uh, beta carotene which comes from carrots folic acid from oranges um, oranges orange juice is also a good thing to drink right now because it has um, elements in it that also help fight radiation to a certain extent um, your B complex vitamins are just good to have as a general rule of thumb just you know for good brain body function all that kind of good thing um, <clears throat> hemp seed oil believe it or not um, it's got a lot of omega-3s in it it's good for your uh, GLA balance and you know you can use it kinda like like a butter I guess um, I just started using it myself because I have rheumatoid arthritis and it helps with um, some of my nausea and some of my other symptoms so it seems like it's working really good for me but everybody also says that um, <clears throat> excuse me it has a lot of um, antioxidant properties as well so it's good to have um, calcium magnesium zinc because you want to protect your bones right now from bone cancer you want to keep yourself strong you need zinc and magnesium to help your immune system and also just green tea you know green tea like this one here is um, green tea with ginseng which also helps the immune system and green tea is, is uh, good to help fight from low level radiation to fight against free radical damage and things of that nature and believe it or not um, <coughs> I just picked you guys some flowers before I made this video um, dandelion apparently I forget let me see if I could find my note here forgive me while I run around in chaos um, dandelion has antioxidant and any cancer properties it protects the liver along with another herb called milk thistle which I don't have here but dandelions are also very useful in many other ways too 
but be careful if you um, take and make like a tea or something like that with this because they also have somewhat of a diuretic property <laughs> which means you could be running to the bathroom a lot um, if you're a person like me that deals with a lot of nausea type symptoms because I take a lot of medication ginger root is an awesome awesome thing to have because you can use it in cooking you can use it in tea if you have um, severe nausea you could just take a piece of it and chew it and it'll stop it like for for example for motion sickness um, there was something I wanted to tell you about that but I don't see it in front of me so I'll just move on um, one thing I wanted to point out you know not all garlic is created equal for example this is an organic garlic and as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous as far as garlic goes but this this little garlic is one that I bought from just a discount grocery store and let's put these two together so you can see the difference not all garlics are created equal no doubt and garlic is one of the most super awesome things in nature as far as helping your body fight off illnesses both cancer and other types of, of illnesses so it's great to have around I mean so, now some sources I read they recommend chewing whole raw chunks of garlic but uh, I don't think I'm quite that hardcore if you want to go that route you uh, you go right ahead you're more than welcome to do that so um, that is my tour of supplements for today I'm gonna do a little bit of editing and I have a whole lot of information I'm gonna add to the end of this video so if you guys like wanna pause it or whatever you can maybe write some of it down and I will also post all of my sources in the description for this video also I wanted to say uh, just thanks everybody for stopping by my channel and watching and all the positive comments and stuff it means a lot and especially right now with everything that's going on in the world you know we really we need to we need to lift each other up and uh, I thank God for all of you and I just hope you all stay safe stay informed and God bless